Weeks have passed since we last picked up this camera and we have had so many windy days. The weather is absolutely crazy. And I hate wind. I hate this weather. But also it has brought up a host of other issues that we have here that we need to tackle. Because let me tell you, this house is not ready for autumn, let alone winter. Luckily, we haven't had a lot of damage in our property because of the winds. We only lost our solar light entrance light here in the porch, which was blown off. And then some of the trees on the property had a bit of damage. So we will have to cut the branches. I went around the property and it all looks quite okay, except for one tree that has been hit quite hard. It's a chestnut tree. It's been behind me here you can really see the damage the main branch here just completely broke off so yeah i need to fix it i got my toolkit out i got my harness on i have my gloves and I have my saw with me so i'm gonna get started and see how this goes i'm already hot Whew. This tree has a lot of damage. If you see here, there's branches going down. And here also, all these branches going down. And that's from the wind this time and other storms as well. We read online that if you don't do clean cuts, this type of broken off bits can get infected somehow in autumn because it gets humidity and fungus and stuff. So we're trying to take care of the tree and do more clean cuts everywhere where it has broken up on its own. So I hear seeing brave and going up there and taking care of it. And I'm in charge of filming and worrying for him. <laughs> At least he's tied up now. It's a very tricky job because branches are not easy to reach. Or here's making a huge effort. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Yay! You did it. You're doing great. Yesterday we got a lot of things done. It's basically cut the way we can. I think after winter we'll cut some more branches off. Now it's time to actually take the trees off the road and then bring it here. I'm scared of that chainsaw. This is the first time I'm gonna properly use it and I don't know if the blades are gonna be sharp enough. It's something we'll have to learn here, living in the countryside, just bit by bit, becoming more accustomed to all these machines that you need here and I have never used before. I'll show you how it goes. You cannot really see it, but there are a lot of branches that have been cut up from the tree. I just need to start pulling them towards here. You can now quite well see how much damage this tree has had in the middle part there. It completely broke. I hope we can recover it in the future. But it will take some time before it's back to its old state. And I started to cut with the handsaw because the chainsaw started smoking. I think the blade is not sharp enough, but I don't have the sharpening tools for it. So I'm just doing it with handsaw again. It's a tedious job, but poco poco, we are getting there. It's getting properly dark, so I'm gonna stop. This part I need to do with a chainsaw. I cannot get through this with my normal saw. We're gonna do that when I fix the chainsaw later on. Getting there. Firewood for next year. A priority is certainly doing something about our main door. It may look super charming because it's original and all, but it has so many gaps and it doesn't seal properly. So when we've had all these windy days in the house, all you heard was Woo! I'll insert clips because I tried to document it, but really like Woo! It was, it was a horrible. We found a temporary solution now. We've put a plastic and some towels and just tried to seal it as much as possible. So here you can see how we've <laughs> tried to fix the door issue. It's all covered with our beach towels and the plastic we found. Still like this, you still feel the wind coming and pushing in the house, but it's much, much better. But it's not good enough. So we want to try and improve it using weather strips in all the 
seams <laughs> I don't know how you call it in a door and then also get wood filler and try to fill in all the holes with the hopes that that will improve the situation considerably we've ordered all the products we need online we're gonna go pick them up today we need to go pick up some curtain rods so that should be much better I hope We've also realized that there are real gaps in the walls, in the stone walls, where wind comes in. It was, it was very surreal to be inside with the storms and feel actual breeze inside the house. We feel draft coming underneath the door. You just felt the, the wind coming through. We were looking around thinking, where is this wind going? But now we know that there's real gaps um, in the structure, so we're gonna try fill that at one point, I guess. And finally, as a backup, up, we need to buy more blankets, more duvets, anything to keep us warm. We've already bought a couple of hot water bottles which have been lifesavers these past days, but we just need more. We need to be able to make sure that if the chimney fails us, if, I don't know, whatever happens, we are not cold in the house because that's such a nasty feeling. So yeah, a lot of things to go out and figure out and the next coming days we'll try to be doing all these little improvements to feel comfortable inside. Let's do this. We haven't left a couple of weeks. We've also been sick. I didn't mention that, but Wanda and I have both been sick and now we still have a lingering bad cough. Cough. We have a lingering bad cough. So we're finally leaving the house. We're gonna go pick up all our packages and then we'll go to Santander to go to the Leroy Merlin, which is like a, I cannot think. My brain is not working. Like a tool shop? No. Uh, Hardware store? Hardware store, there we go. <laughs> and also to go to the supermarket, get some food, etc. So yeah, just gonna go get a lot of stuff. <laughs> the leaving is always a bit pumpy. Because we don't have an address, we cannot receive packages. So we have to send them here to the fruit shop, which is 20 minutes away from home and pick them up whenever we pass. So here we are. Yeah, but it's not the good, the right side. But that's what we need for the chimney. We only have the 150 and then the 200, and we need the 175. So that's a bust. The chimney cap was a fail. Uh -huh. We got well, a bit closer. Yeah, but we didn't get it. And now we're looking for stuff. <laughs> we're gonna do a cheeky system for the washing machine. Yeah, so we're gonna connect the washing machine to the heater to the water boiler. Yeah, so we can have hot, hot water. water in the washing machine without using energy because the washing machine cannot go on our solar panels. This is something my dad has taught us. Let's see if it works. I'm not feeling good enough for Warner spending hours debating which tube is best. You don't know this about Weiner, but he's the most indecisive person on the planet. And therefore coming here means spending hours thinking about which one is best. Have you made this choice now? Yeah. Sure? Oh. 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 Okay. Now you also need another thing and then we can go. Found it, Alec, found it. Come on, let's go. Are you sure? You made me get up multiple times and I've had to sit again multiple times. Cheapest curtain rod system. Cheapest by far that we could find oh that God. is not the IKEA white ugly, ugly one. No offense yeah. to IKEA. No, no, it's a, the cheapest IKEA is cheaper, but worse. <laughs> it's white, yeah, yeah, we don't want white. Oh no, he's gonna make me look at all this stuff again in another store. Uh, we just bought, bought it. We paid three times like more than... Too bad. We also don't have the right one here, so we might have to get creative. Didn't get everything we needed? No, well, we picked some things up. Yeah, the chimney thing is still bugging me though, because we really need that to get that, fixed. Yeah, I'm gonna do that tonight, I promise. So now we are going to do groceries. Just started recording when we're passing the meat section in the background. We're not getting anything from there. Buy some bed sheets and go home. I'm tired. <laughs> It always feels like a trip, huh? because we are quite far away from here. It's like a 45 minute drive. 
and you really feel like you you're have to needing. do everything at the same time. So yeah, so you kind of overpack, go everywhere. Yeah, get very tired already. in the process, and then don't want to leave for two weeks, and then in two weeks we do the same thing again. Exactly. That's how it works from now on. When I decided to take all the boxes from Carrefour, and I'm so embarrassed. Why? Doesn't make any sense. I was considering not walking next to him. <laughs> so embarrassed I am. Yeah. Almost done for the day. And it just the day feels so long when we leave and go do stuff. We've managed almost everything we needed to do, but we're tired. <laughs> I'm looking forward to being home again. Then you're gonna install the lavadora. Me? Yeah, that's your job. Why? Why not? I'm not good at plumbing, I don't yeah, think. I don't think I've ever done plumbing in my life. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think today. We'll show you tomorrow. I think I we'll see you, you tomorrow. Then you won't have a shower today. Why not? Because the like the plumbing is in my backpack at the <laughs> No. So excited to have this package because it's a water kettle and before living here i would have never ever bought from amazon but in rural spain it's actually handy because they do deliver everywhere and also now in at least in amazon spain they have the option to get things secondhand or refurbished so this water kettle i got because it was returned or secondhand it says in a fair state it doesn't say it's in a good state so let's see what that means i hope it's good and then you know it's a bit less wasteful so far so good it looks perfect has like a little cuff there but this is fine and it was more than 50 percent off because it was second hand and in fair state and now there's silly things we got was our favorite salt herbal salt the filters for the ranger and then here should be all the things to insulate our windows better i think yeah here it is oh and we also got moisture meter to check all our firewood and make sure that it's dry enough to be burning very technical things but very handy here we are trying to do the thing for the washing machine after having bought all the bits today like to be able to wash our stuff here with warm water it's luxury right now we can only put it with cold water it cannot heat up whatsoever because the moment it heats up even if it's to 20 degrees we just don't have enough energy the power goes out so my dad suggested that we would couple it to the water boiler so that it could get hot water from there if need be and it is very important in the countryside once in a while to like wash your very dirty things with higher temperatures than Not just dirty cold things. water. My dirty things. <laughs> your dirty things. Can put it on red. Why not? Don't overthink it. Come on, I want to shower. Our water boiler looks really bad without its cover, but it was like this, so maybe yeah. we should put the cover back on. Is it properly attached to the wall? Because yesterday I was looking at the plugs and they look a bit dodgy. Who's overthinking now? It just looks dodgy. It's the thing I have to learn to not tighten everything too strong because I break things all the time because of that. Because you're a little hot. <laughs> I'm just here for the sound commentary. Come on, I need to make the ah. I'm trying. We've now added an extra tap to connect the washing machine to the water boiler. We also added the cap back on so that whenever we want to do a wash with warm water in the washing machine, we will still put it in the cold setting. But if it is attached to that tap, it will come directly from the water boiler and use whatever temperature water we have set up there. So that's a really handy tip. If you live off grid and you don't have enough energy, you can connect it to your hot water system. Good morning everyone. Actually it's more good afternoon because it's quite late in the day. But yeah, it's the next day after we went to Santander to try to get all the things we needed to continue preparing for winter. We didn't manage to get a couple of the big important items, but I think we're just gonna have to order them online because we cannot find them in stores. But we did get some of the things we needed and also some packages of things we had already ordered. Today is very grey and gloomy. I don't know if you can see, yeah I think you can tell how dark the car 
cabin is behind me. I'm sitting right in front of the window for you to be able to see my face clearly, but it is, it's very dark. And outside it's a bit rainy and just gray overall. Warner is busy working editing this video and I want to get some things done just you know to try continue ticking things off the list obviously we're not going to be done we still have a lot to do to prepare ourselves and the house for the colder months ahead but we're getting there slowly but we're getting there so I thought I'd bring you along and yeah show you what I'm doing the first thing what I'm going to start with is checking all our wood I don't think we have nearly enough wood also because because a lot of the wood we got is probably not dry enough. And this is where this little device comes in. We've bought a humidity meter. I don't know if that's the technical name, but something of this sort. The wood, for it to be efficient when burning, the humidity level has to be under 20%. And it takes a very long time for wood to dry. So first we want to check if the wood that was left here up till now that we're using is under 20% humidity because we're having a lot of issues with the fireplace and we don't know if that might be one of the problems that it's just not dry enough and then we want to check if the wood we got from our friends and neighbors is good enough for this year which I don't think it is and with that we will make the calculations of how much wood we have to order from an official supplier where we'll have to pay a hefty price for it but it is what it is so we'll make the calculations of how much wood we need to order make that order and then when it comes also check that they're not scamming us and make sure that the the wood is dry enough for us to use so this thing gonna be very very handy i think you just take off the cap put it against the surface you want to measure and then it should tell you the percentage let's see let's see how the wood is doing this is the bucket we have currently for burning today. So according to the manual, I have to insert these little pins in the wood. And I have no idea how I'm going to do that. Let's see. It says 17. Okay, so this is under 20% humidity. Now let's go check the new wood we just got. And this wood, I'm pretty sure won't be dry enough because they cut it this year and we read online that it takes at least a year to dry. They're also very big logs. It says 15.5. Now I'm starting to doubt the meter or my skills in using it, to be honest. You have to insert it inside. I'm trying to just put it in the cracks that are naturally there in the wood. But I don't know if that's good enough. Do I trust this? Do I have to research this more? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, I might have to look at it, but it seems like it could be dry enough. Could this be true? I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe we have some more dry wood than we thought. I'll make Warner recheck in case. Now I think this is working more than I did a bit a, a second ago because here I put it and it says it's 30.7. So it does work. It does show different measurements. I'm gonna check this wood as well. Let's see. Okay, it seems like we have more dry wood than we thought, which is really good. I'm really happy about that. Now that I've done the wood thing, the next thing I want to get out of the to-do list is to put this, I forgot how it's called, insulating tape or whatever, on all the windows because even though they're double glazed, you still feel a breeze <laughs> if you put your hand on the sides. And I think we're losing a lot of heat through the windows. So putting this around will help. So I'm going to do that now. I'll show you. Okay, this window is all done. Now I have one, two, three, four, six more to go and the door. So I'm just gonna put on my book and do the rest. Okay, I've put the thermal strip on the door, but as you see, this door is just built in a way that doesn't allow for it to be very windproof. This is a gap for the latch. If we go down here, you don't see because of the light, but there's gaps between the stone and the wooden frame. And then there's the gaps in the door itself. So I think we're gonna have to continue with the plastic and just make it as windproof as possible till we change it completely. I put it all here, the rubber on the inside. Let's hope that improves it a bit. Lunch break. It's vegan loaded nacho time. 
We made a mess out of the place. Every time we were cleaning something up the upstairs, we just brought it downstairs and closed the door. Till the point that we cannot open either of the doors that are properly going to this place. I put gas bottles here. I put all my tools here. There's a lot of stuff from upstairs that just needs to be cleaned. And we're gonna do it now. Yeah. Also, we've realized with preparing the house for winter that we will need to use this downstairs door more often. We don't want the, all the heat to leave the house every time we need to go out. So this kind of has to function a bit more as an entryway when we need to get it to a much better state. So let's get to it. Let's get to <clears> it. <throat> The fact that I can stand here, it's a great improvement. We've just moved stuff to other places, but at least we're sorting. A lot of it is garbage that we just need to get rid of. And then we're making piles of some things that we want to find new homes for and then things that we want to reuse ourselves, but we need to clean, etc., etc. There's just a lot of little piles, but I'm happy to be here. Yeah, it's the first time we see the floor. <laughs> Still need to do a lot of cleaning and sorting, but it's looking much better and we can walk here. We also want to add a thick curtain on the inside around the door frame to act as a thermal bridge and as a second barrier for all any wind that can come through and also on all the windows. Three hours later. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't look level, but that's because the wood is not straight, not because the rod is not straight. And then the curtains will take us time, of course, because curtains are super expensive and we want to do this well. But for now, we're going to just put cloths, blankets, whatever we can get our hands on around the curtain rods. And then in the future, we'll create a better solution. This is a blanket we found here in the house that we're not going to use for our beds. So we thought it would be a good temporary solution. Very temporary. This is not fine. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now we just have to do this over all the windows. Big day today. We have a lot of stuff to do. But one of the things that's very important is that we ordered another five cubes of wood for the fireplace for this winter. We are a bit unsure if we're gonna have enough with the wood we have. So we just want to have a backup and we've decided to put it here, which is where we dumped all the stuff that we didn't need upstairs. So I have to move it to the other side of the room and clean this all up, prep it. And then I'm gonna line it up here in rows. Hopefully it's good wood. We don't know for sure. This is the first time we buy I would here and yeah it, you're, it's just a bit of a gamble we really stressed to the person that we bought it from that it needs to be properly dry he convinced us that it was the case so let's just hope that it's right we're ready for the wood all the stuff is now there i'll just leave it there in the corner for now just like created this desk space so we can have everything a bit more close it looks a bit empty now but that's because tomorrow we'll have to do some groceries but yeah this is our food pantry for now ready for the next task next up the driveway it's a mess it has been quite soggy here like quite rainy and there's so many patches now that the car just slips so i'm gonna put some gravel we luckily have some in the front of the property i'm gonna bring it here just divide it and prepare the driveway for the truck the truck is not a very big truck but it's a heavy truck so I want to have those potholes gone so we're not gonna have any issues this afternoon. Let's get to it. Done. It's a bit of a patchwork of gravel everywhere now, but I think it's fine. It's also nice to have it now because when the truck comes back in, it can just mush it into the soil a little bit. That was me for today. Like it was such a tiring job and I'm broken. It's so nice to work here though. Got have the view on the mountains. And we're in the clouds at the moment. The clouds are lower than us. So we are looking over the clouds and it's absolutely spectacular. It's such a nice place to be in. I have the sun full on me and just having the view here, it's, it's great. I'll have to do a lot of work when the truck comes and the wood is put here. So everything is prepped for that. Luckily, it will come at the end of the day. Now, break time. 
sell it. Yeah? yeah? Doesn't look like that much. No? Getting ready for the wood to come? Yeah. I'm a bit nervous. Yeah, me too. I'm nervous that you won't make it up. Yeah, and then I'm nervous that, I, that it's not good enough. It is what it is, right? to move all this wood inside the house. We have our work cut out for us. This is gonna be tough. Still excited about living in the countryside? Not really. <laughs> we already went for like six times, but we yeah. barely made it dead. Yeah, it's gonna take a long while. And finally, and probably most importantly, we need to do something about the fireplace. We were so happy originally that it seemed to work really well and heat up the house well, but that's not been the case the, the last weeks. First, we need to figure out how to make it as efficient as possible because it doesn't seem to heat up as much as we hope it would and therefore the house doesn't get fully warm. Anyway, that's an issue for another day. The real problem has been that with the wind, the smoke would blow into the house rather than go out the chimney and we couldn't breathe. I mean, th there were many, many moments where suddenly the wind would start and we would have the fireplace on and we would have to open the windows. The irony of having the fireplace on and the window open to breathe inside the house which was really counterproductive because then all the heat was leaving through the windows and I think we figured out the problem and that it's, it doesn't have a chimney cap installed so the wind just pushes down into the chimney and then yeah the smoke comes into the house I, it has re-triggered my asthma we both couldn't breathe we've had chest pain it has really not been easy and quite frustrating to just see the smoke coming into the house and intoxicating ourselves with even had to wear masks in different moments. The smoke is so bad that we both really feel it in our lungs. Oh my goodness. Ah, I just missed it. Like a big puff of smoke just went up. Anyway, I feel like I'm, I'm my asthma from when I was younger is getting triggered again. Yeah, being in a home that is not well prepared or where it is, it's really, really frustrating. So we're gonna definitely go try buy a chimney cap and see how we can install it. It's a bit difficult because if you see the footage of the top and they build a little stone cover over it and then we need to be able to insert the chimney top in the middle of that gap and hopefully that will improve things a lot and then we can use our chimney because if not it's useless <laughs> to finally go up to the roof and put the i don't know how you say it in english viento. Wind cap. The wind cap. It's a bit later than we wanted to because we had... Uh... Basically, there's no wind anymore. No. <laughs> okay. Ba later in the season, yeah, we haven't had wind for a while, but you'd never know. It might come back. <laughs> Please don't. But it's later in the day than we wanted to because we just had a neighbor come by. Yeah, a local neighbor. A local, yeah. He's such a sweetheart. It's so nice. We bought our land from him and it's a bit late in the day. It's getting cold. We need to do this quickly. It's actually really cold. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's really like five cold. Five degrees yes, outside. it's really it's cold. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Oh, you're going for it already. You don't want me to come, I won't come. Let's just see if it fits first. I think it will fit. It's just a bit too short, too, too big. We looked everywhere and this is the best one we could find that was not a custom one. So hopefully Warner can shove it in. <laughs> Another solution would be to take that whole top off because then of course it would fit, but we don't want to do that. That's the traditional style here. And now push down, no? It has been really hard to find the correct dimension, so ultimately we had to order it online. It just came, we just got the delivery a couple of days ago, and it was a bit tight, but it's the best solution we had. So if this works, if this installation works, it makes our life much, much better for the future when there is wind again. Done. 
it's on there. Let's hope it works. I'm really nervous, actually. No, it's good. It looks better. Let's see when the wind comes. I'll let you know in a couple of weeks. Excuse my puffy morning face, but today has happened. It has finally happened. It's the first day we've run out of power and it's 9.30 a.m. A couple of days have passed since we moved all the wood inside the cabana. It's all there. I did have footage of it, but I accidentally all deleted it. But I'll show you how it looks. The weather has completely changed. It's gray and it has been raining for a couple of days now. The clouds are all in the mountains at the moment, so you barely see what's going on. And because of it, we ran out of power. It's dark inside. I have to have candles on to make it a bit more light. And we need to figure out the power situation. The solar panels don't generate enough and there is not enough wind either for the windmill to generate enough power for us. So I think today we have to give in and turn the generator on, charge the batteries a little bit and hopefully that will be enough for the upcoming days. We do need to find a solution because it's still another month before we get to the darkest day of the year. And clearly like the amount of solar panels are not enough. It's good to realize that it's not so much the batteries that are an issue but it's the solar panels themselves which means that for the next summer we can start working on updating that whole system. But for now the first task is to get some electricity at least so we can do the things we need to do. Okay, as you can see, power is back on. Uh, generator works. It works really well, actually, but of course not ideal because we have to constantly get petrol in and you don't want to run your whole system on petrol either. But the batteries are charging, so I'll just leave it on for a little bit more and then hopefully today we can just do all the things we need to do on that battery supply. Hopefully the windmill will run a little bit today and the solar panels will generate a little bit of energy so we can just do all the work. I need to definitely work on this video actually on my computer and the computer is the thing that runs the most energy at the moment. So we'll just need to figure out how to balance it so we have enough energy but can work at the same time. This is the wood storage. So here it's three layers thick. In the end we got five cubic meters of wood. It's all oak which is really good for burning and it looks really dry so we're gonna test it by chopping one open and see how it is on the inside but we have already used one and it burns much better than the other wood we have which is great this should last us the whole winter we're first gonna burn up everything that's outside because that's really bad wood and then we have a supply outside as well we have another supply here that we've shown you in previous videos and then with this we should last all winter the temperature has changed completely a couple of days ago when we were bringing the wood in i could still walk around in like a long t-shirt long shirt but now it's like 10 degrees outside and it's only dropping we're gonna get five degree weather soon which is also good for us then to have the electricity because the fireplace is connected to the radiators through a pump and that pump needs electricity to be pumping the hot water around and that was not possible uh, last night and you really notice the difference immediately in the cabana it got pretty cold in our bedroom which is fine but it would be good to constantly have the hot water pumping around so the radiators keep the cabana at a certain temperature they can start i'm gonna work on this video for a bit and then i have a lot of other stuff to do to finish this video up i was just working on the computer and the light started flickering and the generator turned off and I just checked and we already ran out of fuel. So, no fuel, <laughs> no, no electricity. Hopefully there's a little bit of power in the batteries now because of the generator. It looks like it is, but I don't know how long it's gonna last us. Definitely we cannot work today on the computer because that's just too much energy. I'm gonna turn everything off again, leave it to that, I think, for today. After two days of rain and basically no electricity, <laughs> the sun's come out today and we're so grateful for it. We're also going to do some errands that we have to do, paperwork stuff, and pick up our first order from a local organic farm. Local. It's like half an hour away. Yeah, yeah. Like pretty local. 
as local as it gets here, <laughs> organic farm, which is cool. They don't have a lot of produce now because it's autumn and I mean, it makes sense, but we're still excited to try it out because this would be so, uh, the place we would get a lot of our veggies until we can grow our own. Yeah. And we've set up a system with our neighbors where many of them also do their groceries there. And we thought it was kind of silly that everyone was going individually there to, to pick up their orders because it's quite far away. So we are going to take turns for that and we offered to do it today. Let's see how that goes. Okay, we did all the errands of paperwork and now we're picking up the veggies. It's in this local cheese shop. It's not where the farm is. We just got it delivered to the closest point to our place. The veggies are a success fresh organic and then we also got 25 kilos of potatoes <laughs> from the local i don't know what it is it's like a farmer's cooperative yeah and then something we need to get is the petrol if not we're not gonna have electricity to edit this video <laughs> for after tomorrow if you see this video we got the petrol if you don't see this video we didn't get it <laughs> We're back home. I thought I'd do a little grocery haul and show you what we got in the organic shop. They didn't have a lot because it's almost winter. Lots of lettuce because we love eating lettuce. We have potatoes. Then fennel to make salad. We love having it with mandarin or orange in the salad. It's really, really yummy. Then we got the assortment of peppers. We also got a butternut squash, a red cabbage, aubergines, and lots of carrots. And I love that they're all different sizes. Lovely. Very happy with the whole. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. We found out his name is Cookie and he's 12 years old. There's so many of these dogs around here. So we did it. We're ready for winter, aren't we? I think so. I mean, <laughs> we've prepared as much as we know and can right now. And obviously everything's not perfect. We need to live through a winter here to know what we're missing. There's a lot of snow coming ahead. We'll see. They say it, it snows is. here every year. So we're going to have snow for sure. And two years ago, they had one meter 60 or 70 of snow. And it lasted for two weeks. <laughs> so that's gonna be crazy. Maybe we have a white Christmas. Let's hope. I like snow. That would be cool. Anyway, we've prepared as much as we can for now. The house is already feeling much better. It's much more comfortable. And we're here next to our cozy fire. Which is working really well. It's properly warm now. Anything else? No, I think we just leave it to this and then see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching and being with us. We really, really appreciate it. Ciao.